Welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of March 4th. I'm Nicole Erdix and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. <sighs> Today's Thursday, which Deep means it's time to give in to our obsessing about parenting details, big and small. Mm-hmm. And today I'm obsessing about getting my younger child, my daughter, not very young, but she's 18. I'm getting, trying to get her ready to leave the nest. Well, and I'm starting to realize as the her graduation years and the college acceptance letters are starting to come in Mm -hmm. that it's becoming a reality that she probably won't be living with us next year Uh and I'm freaking out that (laughs) she's not going to be able to survive (laughs) on her own and I'm trying to figure out on one hand I still want to do things because it's my last year with her and um, she's still a kid. And, and then on the other hand, it's, I've got to get her ready. I've got to back off more. I, I don't mm. need to be making her lunches every day. I don't need to be waving goodbye to her from the door. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> don't need to be holding her hand and walking her into the school building. Yeah. And so I'm really struggling with what should I keep doing mm. and what do I need to stop doing? And it's just a big struggle because I'm not ready for her to leave, but then I kind of am. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking for some guidance on this, mm. this, these issues really is what it is because, okay, I still make her lunch. Mm. Should I be doing that or no? No, no. Okay. I only say that because I hate making lunches and I never do it. Well, that's, but- that is one has been one easy adulthood thing I've been able to do with my kids who are, you know, still home in their twenties, but for reasons, uh, but, um, they can, they can make their own, they make their own breakfast, they make their own lunch and then we all have dinner together. So that's something, you okay. know, does she do her own laundry? No. <laughs> okay. Well, that's another easy thing. Yeah. Uh, my my daughter has a hamper in her room, and she completely for for quite some time has completely been in charge of it. She washes some stuff for her brother occasionally too, but um, you okay. know, it's, that's not hard. That you know, that's not so, too rough. Okay, so here's my dilemma: is that I feel like she's working so hard in school and has so much homework mm-hmm. that to fit this stuff in, right? But when she goes to college, she's going to have a lot of homework, and she's going to have to do her own laundry. Right. Plus which, it doesn't take a ton of time. It doesn't involve leaving the house. I assume you have indoor laundry facilities. We do. You don't go to the laundromat, right? No. So it does not take much time. And it gives a little feeling of independence and of, you know, taking care of yourself, which is nice. Okay. And, and and, And if you can teach her to do it often, like... <laughs> I mean, the issue with my daughter is that she she lets it pile up for a really long time, uh, and then she does it, and then it takes a long time, and then she monopolizes the machines for yeah. a long time. Uh, um, so, yeah. you know, mostly it's fine because she's doing it herself. Yes. Um, I, but, I can express my happiness that my daughter does it herself because I don't do the laundry, and my but my husband does sometimes complain that he wants to use the machine and she's using it. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. But even so, I think it's a good it's a good training wheel independence thing. So yeah. I really do need to, to let her do that then. Would she resist it, do you think? Well, she wouldn't be happy because she's the <laughs> mom doing it the whole time, right? <laughs> right. And I feel this like big sense of guilt because I'm I mean, I'm home, but I'm like not technically I do have work to do, but I feel like, mm. okay, I'm here and yeah. I'm doing mine anyway. So take her to like Bed Bath and Beyond and find some cute little hamper and basket, laundry basket that she can use as just her own or something like that. Mm-hmm. Let okay. her buy her own her detergent. Room. And then she can take it to college with her. Exactly. It's good to mm-hmm. practice. Although, unless yeah. she's going to be living somewhere where she can just bring all her laundry home. No. Because I live looking at places far away. 
I, I lived an hour and 45 minutes away from home, and I still saved up my laundry and brought it home. So. <laughs> and you can pitch it as, you know, this is something you need to learn and practice, right. so let's start now. Yeah, yeah. You know, not... I don't care about you anymore, so I'm not doing your laundry. Yeah. Well, you don't want to start doing your laundry for the first time when you're far away from home, and if you then dye all your laundry pink, you kind of have no clothes. So true, this is true. Good. True, true. Can, you can kind of... But then I think, okay, well, you know, at least while she's in school, I could be doing it, but then I guess you're right. It's about time management, and because I'm yeah. thinking, okay, well, I have all summer to get her to do all this stuff, but... Yeah, I mean, I think you want to pick a few, like, like, Pick one or two things that are not hard and are not time consuming that she'll have to be doing for herself when she's at college and just start and and make a big deal about it. Not like, I'm not going to do this for you anymore, but isn't this great? You're going to learn how to do this yourself. So when you're in college, you'll know what to do. Um, and if not, just make her do it. Cause- <laughs> and maybe the, maybe the lunch isn't the one to pick because she won't necessarily be packing a lunch when she's That's at college. That's true. Right. Um, I mean, like on weekends, if she's home, is she home on weekends? Does she like eat lunch at home on weekends? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, then she can make her own. Well, she does her own lunch. But I guess when I say make your lunch, it's more like for school. So during the week, I pack her lunch for school. But when she's at home on the weekends, she'll deal with breakfast and lunch. Well, is there a way to make the packing the lunch really quick and easy? Are there like some pre-made things she could get and then she just has to put it in her, you know, like on the weekend she can make herself some things and then pack them during the week or get some pre-made stuff from the store? Oh, yeah. Make it fun. I'm the queen of pre-made stuff, so. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Well, then, you know, if she can get some pre-made stuff and all she has to do is put it in the lunchbox. Um, mm-hmm. you know, often by spending money, you can make things seem like fun <laughs> instead of chores. <laughs> but then there's, there's other, like, I'm trying to think of other things that she'll need to know, like managing her own money a little bit more, <laughs> you know, when yes, she's, that is true. When she's away from home, like, obviously she's not going to be paying like her room and board, like every month out of her pocket. But, Mm -hmm. um, but you know, like if she's, she might need a little guidance on spending money. I don't know. Does she have a credit card? Depends on the kid. Well, she has a bank card. I mean, she doesn't have a credit card, but I mean, we're going to have to deal with that. If she goes away, she'll need to do, we'll need to get something. The nice thing um, about a credit card is that if somebody steals it, she's not out the money right away. Oh, yeah. And it, you can yeah. usually get settled before you have to pay it. Whereas my my son, somebody stole his debit card number and they took the money out of his account and it took like a couple of weeks to get it back in. And that would have been a problem if he'd actually needed it. So it might be worth like getting her whatever beginner credit card there is and working with her on it, teaching her to right. pay it on time. Right. That would make her feel real grown up too, probably. Yeah. I yeah I don't know. It's like, uh, yeah. Part of me is, oh well, I should just you know she's still a kid and this is yes. my last opportunity to do it for her. And then the other part of me is, oh, no, I've got to get her ready for life. Yeah. Then I think, okay, well, my son, you know, I thought the same thing with my son, and now he's back living with us. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, so. with money stuff, especially, you want to monitor her starting out with it. You don't want her to be doing it for the first time when she's far away. And then by oh, the yeah, time you no, find no. out there's a problem, she's spent The money thing I think she's got a pretty good handle on because yeah. she has had her own card for years. Okay. That's um, fine. Although she doesn't have that con- – you know, these. I don't know if it's like a sign of her generation, but mm-hmm. – because – Money to her is the number that she sees on the screen. It's not actually the cash in hand. Yes, <laughs> so that is true. She cash lying everywhere. <laughs> Take stuff yeah, up. This yeah, is I see that too with my kids. Just sort of uh, an awareness that, and, and and when they do have cash, an awareness that it's actually money and it comes from somewhere, mm-hmm. and. You know that you you have to if you if you spend it you have to they'll get then go to the bank and get more to put in your right. wallet yeah so that's the, the connections are not entirely secure between those two things yeah so and <sighs> some of the other things that I think about or worry about is 
you know, that time management of like getting yourself up in the morning and getting to where you need to go. Yeah. Um, you know, like my daughter's pretty good. My, and she's my older one and she's pretty responsible about that kind of thing. Um, my younger one, not so much. <laughs> I mean, I have time to work on yeah. that with him. But, you know, like I remember being in college and knowing someone whose mom was calling her to wake her up every day. <laughs> like, and oh, that was okay. when, that was when I was, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm we sure don't it want still that. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you can have your phone, you know, set an alarm on your phone or something, but. Right. But you have to yeah. actually set it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, your mom can just call. Yeah. That's. Yeah. The time don't management be that is mom, a thing. Nicole. Yeah. I won't be that mom. But, you know, I can see myself, like, reminding her to take her medicine. <laughs> yeah. Have Does she have good time management skills now? No, they're terrible. No. All right. Well, then you got to. They're absolutely atrocious. That you got to work on. I got to work on that. Okay. That would be good. But yes. The other okay. places would be a good place to start also, I think. Pardon? The other things would be a good place to start also. But if you can approach it in a way that it doesn't seem like a punishment, but an opportunity. Yeah. Stay tuned. That's the way to do it. (laughs) Good luck to you. Thanks. I don't know how it's going to go. Well, that's it for today's round four. Tune in tomorrow and we'll share our roundabout roundup of things we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. 